time I came to be part of Biodiversity Festival was in 2009. And it is always heartwarming and it's like homecoming. That year, very year, when we came along with women farmers from Meghalaya State, Assam and Nagaland, for us, it is not new, at least to the women farmers. For me, who was born later than then, was something that I have missed in my younger days, because our festivals were taken in by Christmas, our festivals were taken in by uh, Easter holidays, and you know, like, it has been replaced with uh, our harvest festival, our sowing festival. And when we came here, we realized that this is what is community life. We're still doing farming, but if there is no time to come together and celebrate the rich diversity, the rich farming system, the system of sharing, sharing seeds, sharing knowledge, sharing work, sharing responsibilities, taking challenges together, and also sharing the harvest of it. We need to do this in our own villages, in our own communities, and that's how from 2009, NAN started having this kind of biodiversity festivals since 2011. And every year when I come here, I see this festival growing more in depth. The roots are growing deeper, the branches are spreading, and I think why it is, is so with DDS is that because you are including your young children. You are also including women. That this is something which I always feel happy about it because you see more women than men. Unfortunately, less men in this field, but we hope that more will join. But it's always like a power, a feeling of power that you see women sitting here, that they are celebrating what they are doing, what they are contributing towards their own families, towards their own soil, towards their own water, towards their own social cohesion. Because this is becoming rarer every day in today's world. We are going for cash crop. We are going for profit. We are going for competition. And the social cohesion, which is important for the well-being of the community, is losing ground, unfortunately, and very sadly, and also very scary. And here is this community, which is still keeping together, keeping together the communities together, keeping together their soil, water, sharing the knowledge together, and also resisting together. This is something that I believe that from here, that it has spread to different places. When we talk about millets, Nagas also, the tribals on the Naga hills are also like millet cultivators. We do jhum cultivations, we do petty cultivation in our terrace fields, but with different kinds of external forces which has come to our land, slowly millets have been like, become a marginalized crop. And it's only like four or five years journey of Northeast Network trying to spread, revive the age old millet based farming, which is something very beautiful because in this it brings communities together. In the hilly terrain, it is not possible for one farmer to get, cultivate millets. It needs community to come together to cultivate millets. And that has been slowly growing. Every year we see more families embracing the millet-based cultivation. And I, as a person who has come here, and as an organization who also have the opportunity to work with different communities, can very proudly say that we are also on the move with you and we hope that 
we will be also taking this forward in a larger way in northeastern states, which is eight states in the northeastern part of uh, India. Uh, when I have this in mind, when I think about the women's role, the role of women that has been very deeply rooted, keeping the traditions, keeping the knowledge systems, upholding the farming, the sustainable farming or the ecological farming systems, is something which the women are very strongly holding. But in our part, also in your state, we are just few of us. So I think coming together like this, we need to strengthen solidarity. We need to move together to say or to show the world that this is what it is all about, healthy lives, healthy communities, that the community well-being is dependent on the kind of food we take, is also dependent on the kind of the farming systems, the way we interact with our immediate soil, our immediate water, and I hope that we, as ecological farmers, they eat from the Kanpetu or to the Naga Hills or to Gujarat or to Himachal. Let's all stay together strong and move out in a more larger solidarity. And I hope that this festival will continue this festival will also spread to their own villages because Northeast Network as an organization cannot organize, but it has to come from the communities. DDS as an organization must have started. Now it is the Sangams, the different villages, the different Pakshayas who have taken part and responsibilities in organizing this. So I congratulate and wish you all the best.